high-tech super flying vehicle. Yes, many people have always dreamed about flying cars inside our life. Have you? Could flying cars be a part of our lives one day? In order to answer this question positively, researchers all over the world are producing prototypes, coming up with ideas and creating projects. Throughout history, many vehicles have been produced and tried to be produced. So, flying cars have been prototyped but they are still pretty much helicopters. A flying car was once only thought to be possible in the movies. However, the world is closer than ever to experiencing this mind-boggling phenomenon. Cars that can fly may be in a closer grasp than you think. However, there are too many complications that use flying cars in our lifetime right now, but why? Science fiction fans are probably having the time of their lives right now, but something about flying cars just really boggles me. And I hope it's not just me. What do you think about it? Deal with me? Are flying cars really as practical as they seem? Elon Musk is saying how they would be noisy and how one car flying over you would give you anxiety as if it's about to guillotine you. Now here is why I'm skeptical about flying cars, such as Number 1. How in the world of nowhere will they ever be affordable? Number 2. Flying cars are too unsafe compared to land cars. Number 3. Who could even fly one? Number 4. Breaking down means falling out of the sky. Number 5. Noise generation and fix. Number 6. Low fuel on the sky. Number 7. Air traffic even if close us on the sky. The future of cars is absolutely electric. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Brits were certain future cars would be fully electric. So, where do you start with electric cars? What if the battery is low while you are on the road? Hybrids are a great first step, offering a solid mix of eco-friendliness and improved battery range. Everything and everybody has considered is true, but I think most of them are missing one issue, energy. Energy means that battery is one of the most important of part for vehicle. Elon Musk's Solar City company is trying to fix this issue. Otherwise, there is a control center in Brussels which is supporting European aviation. Why is the supporting European aviation important for aviation? Because they ensure the safety of thousands of aircraft that travel crisscross across the world sky. Everything is coordinated, planned, and performed in the serenity of a room bathed in natural light thanks to an enormous light shaft. Moreover, licensing would have to be reworked. Both driver's licenses and license plates. The crossover between aviation and driving licenses would be difficult. Our infrastructure and governmental procedures just aren't set up for it. Flying cars. One that is discussed by others here. Has the following problems. Problem 1 will be city planning. Problem 2 will be licensing and pilot. Problem 3 will be marketing and cost. Flying car companies will eventually also have to learn how to offer drivers insurance and mitigate risks associated with flying and driving. It might be a rocky road to meeting stringent requirements that must be met for a car to get on the road and a plane to get in the sky. But it can hard. Also, futurologist Tom Cheese Wright adds, tomorrow's car takes you from A to B with minimum fuss and in maximum style. Future technologies will give designers free reign to create more space and comfort so that we can get on with our lives while an AI takes care of the driving. While our cars won't be flying anytime soon, we can all benefit from cleaner, quieter, safer roads. In just 20 years, the age of the combustion engine will be well and truly over. Now, what do you think about cars in the future? For example, how will cars look like in 2050? What if there is no control center all over the world? And what if everyone has a private flying car and would drive it? And what if you don't have a driving license for flying cars? And about an accident in the sky and so on. So, these are the points I want to make. Now I'm not trying to steer anyone out of the possibility that would be real. But as all science person knows, reality is stranger than fiction. Things might not always go as they look like. Now I want to hear anyone else's thoughts about this. 
Don't forget that each problem solution is getting a new problem. Today, we are trying to solve some problems, but a new problem is waiting for us next time.